don't forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my- Welcome back to another video on the Finance Value Guy. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at where Dogecoin is going to be headed over the next couple of hours and over the next couple of weeks. So um, we need to quickly look at what happened to Dogecoin. Dogecoin did manage to break up out of this rising wedge, which is pretty bullish. And of course, as you guys can see, we actually then came back to retest this yellow line and have then bounced again. So this is definitely pretty bullish because what usually happens when you're breaking out of a trend is it usually tests the line that it breaks out of and then it moves up further. So for example, if it were to break down, it would usually test this white line and then come it down, okay, as a confirmation, okay. But the fact that it's come out, come down to touch it and come up just shows us that we're most likely heading to higher highs. Now, currently, what's interesting is that we are very, very synonymous with Bitcoin. We're definitely moving likewise with Bitcoin. And if you've ever seen, okay, you know, something that I wanted to show you, okay, is the fact that all cryptos, okay, move with Bitcoin, okay. So as you guys can see right here, this is what I wanted to show you because as you can all see, all cryptos, including, you know, Dodge, um, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin, as you guys can see, they all kind of follow the same exact pattern. And, you know, some people are saying it's rigged. But like I said, guys, this is why when we're analyzing the price of Dogecoin, we have to analyze the price of Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the one that moves first, then all other cryptos move after it. Because as you guys can see right here, every single pattern is pretty much the same. OK, and that's because these guys are all closely tied to Bitcoin. OK, um, and as you guys can see, top comment here, when I move, you move Bitcoin. So in these videos, when you see me analyze the price of Dogecoin and I'm constantly referencing Bitcoin, that is the reason why. And you should definitely show this to your friends and stuff like that, because not a lot of people know that this is the case. OK, a lot of people just think you can analyze Dogecoin or Dogecoin is going to do its own thing. It can sometimes, but, um, you know, unless it's a really, really micro cap coin, it's going to really follow Bitcoin closely. OK, so um, currently what we have here is definitely very bullish. OK, I'm still very bullish on Dogecoin, as you guys can see. I remember around here, as you guys can see around this area, I was telling you guys that, you know, we've hit the 200 day moving average. And of course, this area was the bottom, of course. And as you guys can see, we definitely had a huge upswing right here. And this is definitely I told you guys that this area right here was definitely feeling like we were going to have some sort of pump because this is exactly how it felt back in January before we had the major pump. Now, if we look OK at where Bitcoin is headed, because we need to kind of see we need to kind of gauge where Bitcoin is going to be headed over the next couple of days. Now, here's what most people are looking at for Bitcoin. OK, this is what you guys need to be watching. OK, so I'm going to go over to the four hour chart here. Then we're going to zoom out. So as you guys can see, there's one clear level of resistance. Now, this is what a lot of people are looking at. A lot of people are looking at this level right here. If I can draw this. Um, as you guys can see right here. So a lot of people are looking at this level of resistance right here. This level of resistance, as you all can see, is currently coming in at around the 4,700 level, okay? 48,000, that is where the major resistance is coming in for Bitcoin. As you guys can all see, Bitcoin hasn't really managed to break through that. So as you guys can see, let me just have, let me just change the color of this line to red so you can all see this a little bit better. But um, yeah, this is the line that most people are looking at when it comes to the major resistance line for Bitcoin. So this is where people are wondering, okay, now, is Bitcoin going to break through this? Because it got rejected here, rejected here. We've come underneath this yellow line. Now this yellow line, okay, this second yellow line right here, you guys thinking there's too many lines, yada, yada, yada. Let me just lower the opacity on this one because I realize things can get very, very confusing. Let me lower the opacity on this one too, okay? But pretty much what we have, okay, this blue line is our long-term support line. So if Bitcoin touches this line and moves up, that's pretty healthy, okay? If Bitcoin goes down below this line, it's slightly bearish. Um, and this red line right here, if we go above this, we're gonna be probably more bullish, okay? Because you guys can see, this is where we hit the resistance. So currently on Bitcoin, as you guys can see, resistance, resistance. Okay, now the support line, okay, that I've drawn before, okay, as you guys can see, Bitcoin was getting supported by this yellow line, small bounce off the yellow line, bounce off here, bounce off here, comes down. And then unfortunately, we've broken down, come up to test this, and it doesn't look like, okay, we're going to be headed for this red line anymore. So my prediction for Bitcoin currently, okay, is right now between a rock and a hard place because as you guys can see we're in this perfect pocket between one line a second line and a third line right here so right now okay this is why i say bitcoin is just in a super weird place because as you guys can see the 200 day moving average this line right here okay this is the 200 day moving average now sometimes bitcoin will use this as support okay so if bitcoin okay you know it breaks up from this red line, we are definitely going to see a huge upswing on Dogecoin, okay? Like, we're going to definitely going to see a huge break for Dogecoin, okay? I'm not sure to what price exactly, but definitely we're going to see a huge break up if Bitcoin can break up, okay, into the golden pocket of around $52,000. That is where most people are watching to see if that will happen. Now, if Bitcoin breaks this trend and breaks, you know, if we zoom out, okay, and we look at the blue line, okay, for example, if we remove this, okay, 
as you guys can see right here you guys can see that you know the blue line is definitely in fact let me just delete this no just put the opacity on zero so if we have okay a situation where you know the blue line as you guys can see the blue line has been supported okay i'm going to show you exactly where once okay then twice okay we've been supported there so we could be coming to test this blue line again and then move up this is why i'm saying right now we're at a critical point for dogecoin okay because if bitcoin okay like if it comes down here and if it doesn't break up through, we may potentially be going down um, or we could be potentially breaking up um, very bullishly. So right now we're at a critical point where we don't really know what's going to happen. Um, and of course, I'm saying, you know, the price needs to go down, the price might go down. But you've got the key levels to watch. The key levels is basically 48,000, 4,800, OK, not 4,800, 48,000. OK, like right here it was actually 47,000, but it's basically 48,000. We want to break 40, 48,000 cleanly um, to order need to get, you know, continue the trend. And we really don't want to break right now. We don't want to break. Um, OK, currently we don't want to break 44,000. OK. That is the long term support line. That is the line we don't want to break because if we go down and touch this line, okay, um, and break it, I would predict that, you know, Dogecoin is going to once again, you know, go back down to, you know, the low, not the low 20s, but maybe the mid 20s, okay. Um, but if we break up, okay, if we break up from here, okay, we are definitely going to be seeing some new highs on Dogecoin, okay, possibly rallying us back to, you know, around the 38, 39 cents, okay. So that is what we want to watch right now. For Dogecoin, what I'm watching, okay, is that I'm watching Bitcoin. I'm going to see if we hit this resistance line. If we get rejected too many times, um, you know, it's not bad because if we hit a line a lot of times, it means eventually we're going to break up from it. But um, here's what we need to see. We need to see, will Bitcoin break 48,000? We're just going to watch the price section. Will Bitcoin break down from 44,000? That's the level that we need to watch. And this pattern is eventually going to come to fruition by the 23rd. So as you guys can see the line, it kind of, you know, goes all the way to the 23rd. So we've got essentially one, two, one, two, three, four, five days okay before anything crazy has to really happen we could just see sideways action here and as for dogecoin okay since we've bounced off this line that is very very bullish okay um because when you bounce off the support line that you broke out of it's basically confirming that the trend will continue to go in the direction that it went so currently on dogecoin yes we're still bullish but we need bitcoin in order to continue to uptrend either bounce off this blue line and go up or just go up through this red line okay because if we break down from here um it's not going to be too good okay and if we do okay start to trend downwards okay um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a quick ride because a lot of people are quite worried that Bitcoin could potentially dip back down to what we saw in, you know, in 2017 and in 2013, where we had a fake relief rally and then the price just completely, you know, crumbled. So if we start heading back to these levels, it's not going to be good at all. So that is why I'm looking to see if this blue trend line, the very strong trend line is ever broken. And if this upper resistance line is ever broken. Um, so yeah, as you guys can see, that is what we are looking for right now. So I am looking to see if that happens. And for Dogecoin, there's no key levels we want to watch. Okay, mainly that is what we want to watch for Bitcoin and for Dogecoin. Okay, right now the chart kind of looks a little bit fragmented. If I go on the four hour chart, there we go. As you guys can see, um, a really nice, you know, come back down and retest on that line. So yeah, there hasn't really been a pattern. Maybe we might have, you know, a wedge forming or something like that. But if it does happen, the pattern does happen, I will update you guys the moment it does happen. But as you guys can see right there, very, very clean breakout, clean breakout, clean retest and clean moving up. So I don't expect any move on up. I think, you know, we're probably most likely for the next couple of days for Dogecoin, we're going to be, you know, just trading within this range right here. I wouldn't expect to move up or down and I expect Dogecoin at least, okay, to at least bounce off this line right here so the lower limit for those coin is going to be around 31 cents and the upper limit is going to be 34 cents so we're going to be trading in between this area here and for bitcoin it's going to be trading between this area here until we have a breakout from either side to the upside it's going to be more bullish to the downside it's going to be more bearish so those are the lines you want to watch um and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like this channel subscribe to the channel um and i'm going to see you guys in the next awesome video